Do you know that the way you're living your life, that you're cursing yourself? Do you know this, mu this music is putting a spell on you right now? You have a spell on you. You're, you're under the enchantment of witchcraft right now. Witchcraft. Yes, this music is seducing you. Yeah, real soon, real soon. Uh, yeah. I need to know what time is it? It's about 5 to 12. We're going to yeah. shift change. Yeah, so we're leaving, we're yeah. we're gonna leave the shift change, sir. Okay, yes, sir. Way. Appreciate you. We're probably going to be out here tomorrow, just so you know. Right. Probably either like yeah, 7 to 11, 8 to 12, 8 to 11, something like that. So we're, we're pulling. I'm going to give a final word and I'm out. I'm going to say like uh, one minute. All right, guys, we are going to leave, but that doesn't mean that we don't love you. We're going to leave because we have a two hour drive, but we're going to come back tomorrow because we love you. So repent. Don't die and go to hell. Repent and believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. Put the put the, uh, the 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 banner pole that way. Yeah, get it. How you doing? I can like leave with you guys. Leave with us? Yeah, and like pay you like get me. Away where do you from where here. are you going? Away from here, bro. Yeah, I'll take you away from here. Yeah. <laughs> where you gotta go? I have an address. How far are you going? It's about 40 minutes away. Which way? If here, you're going bro. south, I have. I will show you. If not, I'll get you an Uber. Please. Yeah. I will give you the money. I will, no, I just, I you don't have to give me the here. money. If you need an Uber to get out of here, I'll help I you get out of here. I need an Uber to get the fuck well, out of here. Now, why are you leaving here? Because I saw some shit in there that I wasn't supposed to see. Amen. Amen. Uh, yeah. That's right. Exactly. That's right. Amen. That's right. That's right. Believe me, I, I used to. I threw the no, first bro. rave that was here 20 years ago. Yeah. I was the promoter. Yeah, bro. And so you believe me, there. All right. Literally warning the fool. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What time are you looking tomorrow? Uh, we either here, we, we, we'll be here either at 7 or 8, and we're going to leave probably by 11. PM? Yeah, yeah. Okay, same thing again tomorrow night. Yes, sir. 7, 8. Okay. I'm taking my daughter to the zoo tomorrow, so I got to come oh, later. Yes, sir. Uh, God bless you, sir. Right, fair enough. I'm good to. You going to be here? No, I work till 4 in the afternoon, and I double on patrol. If you could just let the so command post know that we're probably going to come either 7 or 8 p.m. tonight. So I'll let them know. Tomorrow. You'll be up here about the same time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Probably maybe have a couple more guys. We might have, we might have three or four. Thank you, sir. Be safe. God bless y'all. Y'all need so many things. Watch yourself. Nobody sees it, bro. You see demons? I saw. Did you see demons? Yeah. I saw revelations, bro. That was revelations in there, bro. Yeah. I can't. Wow, you hear that? Yeah. That was revelations. He's seeing demons in there, man. I'm sorry. Listen, listen, listen. Hear me out, okay? Like I hear what you're saying about drugs and shit, right? I'm definitely tripping balls, and I'm tripping balls, and I can tell you, I believe in God. 100% do, and that's not God. Right. I know you don't agree with what I'm doing. I can appreciate no, that. No, right now you're in danger. Right you now you're in danger, but at least you're fleeing the wrath I to come. Definitely, yeah. And I'm gonna stop all my drugs on Monday, bro. I trust me. Monday, yeah, dude. It's it's Saturday or it's Friday. Oh, it's it's today, Friday. Right. Friday. Okay. You see this shit right here? That shit, like I'm giving that shit away. I already know it, bro. I already like what I took. Yeah, you know. I'm gonna get you an Uber, dude, and I'm gonna pay for it. Okay. Oh my God. Give me yeah, I'm gonna get you an Uber, and I'm gonna pay for it. So we're gonna go down here to the gas station on the right, and we're gonna get an Uber for you. And, so uh, much. yeah. Holy fuck, dude. I never want to go back. Ever in my life. Oh, not while I'm all, oh, man. I fear God, bro. I fear God. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, fear man. I'm going to walk over this. Year. Yeah. Well, by the fear of the Lord, men depart from iniquity. Yeah. So you got to prove that to God by departing from your iniquity. Yeah. I'm so any, so yeah. Telling, so anything not like God in your life, you got to get it out. Yeah, I'm getting it all out of my So no more sleeping with hoes. <laughs> bro, no more I'm, drugs. I'm, I'm, but you know why? Because you just saw, you got a glimpse of what's coming for you yeah. if you don't repent. You got a glimpse wrong. of what you're about to be you're living in. Wrong. Everything you just saw, man, nah, bro, you are going to be in that fire burning forever, man. I understand. Yeah. That, and the thing, yeah. Playtime's over, man. Yeah. It was the mercy, yeah. the mercy of God lets you see that. Oh my God, thank you, God. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. Save my soul. I'm just following you, man. Wherever you Yeah, we're going to go to that. We're gonna go to the gas station up there and, and okay. call you an Uber. Okay. All right. Thank you. What town are you from? I'm not from around here, bro. I live in Maryland. I know, but 40 minutes away. Where are you staying at? Um, Is it a Airbnb? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, Airbnb. Okay. Thank you. I will give you the money. <laughs> We'll see how much it is. I mean, if it's forty or fifty, I'll, I'll you maybe you can give me half. Okay, 100%, yeah, yeah. I really appreciate you doing this, man. Cause I don't have Uber app on my phone, so I can't even. I got it. An Uber, and I was like, how am I gonna get a text? And I heard you leaving, and I was like, bro, somebody who's telling somebody something here is leaving, so I'm leaving with him. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's go over to that BP, bro. That is actually the doorway. Yeah, we're gonna go over to the BP because the other gas station's closed. Livingston Terrace. Oh no. 
let's stand up. Just stand over here. Uh, this spot right here. Let's stand right here. Let's stand right here. Uh, yeah, we can walk up there. He's got to go to the bathroom, so let's walk up there. We'll stand outside, but you can go in. Yeah, I'm sure they got a bathroom. If not, you can run around the back, bro. A line for the bathroom? Oh, there's there's bathrooms over there. We'll go stand over there. See the porta potties? So, uh, what's the name of? Hey, bro. What's your name again? What's Joseph. Your... Joseph. Yeah. Wow, Joseph. Jesus, Joseph. Man. Joseph. No, it's fucking scary. Man. man. Joseph. There's a lot of Joes in there, but nobody. Man. Joseph, Joseph. Joseph. Joseph was sold into slavery by his brothers, man. Really? Yeah, you were a slave to sin, but oh, you're gonna. No. You're, God's gonna deliver you no, out of the out of the bondage. No, what do you got? What, what, what do you got here? Water. Just okay. Water. Just water. Camelback. Agua. Yeah. Okay. Agua. My bro's got to go to the bathroom here. Yeah. We're gonna post up along this uh, post right here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. On the end. Sorry, bro. I'm gonna match the bathroom. Got it. After yeah, I'm gonna sit stuff down over here. Thank you so much, man. Yeah. We'll get down that Uber app and hook you up. Sorry, to, we're not trying to invade your guys' uh, privacy or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're out of here. We're helping this guy out of here. He's, he saw some crazy stuff on the, that, that dude that's with us. He was inside, you know, partying or whatever, and he, like, saw demons and all kinds of crazy stuff. So he's like, I got to get out of here. So we're trying to help him get out of here, you know. Yeah. So we're going to get him an Uber so he can go to the Airbnb. And the same thing with There's not as many demons. Right, right. Did he go to the bathroom? Yeah. yeah. So give me that address that you were talking I don't about. Get it, but do you have service out here? I like don't. Live oh here man, like now it just now I I thought I had I had service. Like service out here is kind of shit. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's yeah. Like weirdly shit. I had service. I had like four bars when we were standing up there. I kitchen. have bars, but like it doesn't like nothing's reading. I like when I heard you talking about like the shit. I was gonna look, I was gonna read the Bible. Yeah. I was literally gonna read the Bible, bro. I looked at Revelations. Can you, can, like, you can you can you can um, you? Look at your history. Can anything. you look at your history and see I where? Oh wait, I can't do stuff. Nice. Yeah, look at your history and see where your Airbnb's at. Yeah. If your Airbnb is, Give me the fuck here's out the of thing, here. Joseph. If your Airbnb is, what kind of towards Columbus? I can I, I can help you out because I'm heading that way. I'm going to Dayton. Lancaster. Lancaster. I don't even know what the fuck that is. Lancaster. Lancaster, Lancaster. is that on the way to Dayton? You don't know. Okay, Lanc Lancaster. Okay. Let me, let me uh, 3410 Hamburg. Okay, leave that up for a second. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. I don't have any service, but I can try. Yeah, man. I'm definitely going to interest some effort. Get me the fuck out of here. Man. You coming back tomorrow? Fuck no. Okay. 30, Hamburger Road. Hamburger Road. Southwest. Lancaster, Ohio. Like you're offline. Yeah, bro, this shit sucks, man. Hold on a minute. Service out here, blow skis. We are going to the lockers Let's now. See if I Don't can find out where we're landing. I gotta run. Oh, okay, right there. Okay, so so it so it is kind of south. Okay. Is it kind of on the way? At all? Lancaster is. Yeah, it is actually. So you help me out. But Joseph. And don't lie to me, man. Bro, I just threw You got to get rid of whatever. Because I can't have nothing in my car. I just threw it away before you even okay. asked me. It's like gone. I had Molly. You like, don't have nothing, nothing? I have nothing. Nothing? Nothing. You. Nothing. Let's talk about the grace of God. The grace of God that has pierced well, all to, man. men. What's, up, What's the grace of God do? Just, uh, it teaches us. It denies ungodliness and worldly lives. So we should live Feeling soberly, pull out your boots, righteously, more and godly in this present age. That's what Amen. Jesus so you, so, so you came here thinking you wanted Jesus this, but then you realized that you are wasting your life and you, and you got a greater purpose? Yes, sir. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, you don't belong Jesus, here? Like, like, this isn't where you're supposed to be? Yeah. Like, it's not safe here? It's not, it's not safe here, no. Not, sin is not safe. Sin is dangerous. Sin is risky. 
in is, these are perilous times we're living in. That means it's a high risk time. This is a dangerous environment uh, full of demons and devils, people that are possessed with devils, women that are possessed, men with devils. So, you, you know, you're just, we're just one breath away from eternity. One breath away. One choice away. One choice away from getting connected to the wrong woman. One choice away from getting connected to the wrong friends. One choice away from being the place you shouldn't be. You know what I mean? So, yeah. So that's, that's why. That's why. That's why. The, Okay. That's why the call, the call of God is to come out of her, my people, touch not the unclean thing and I'll receive you. I'll be a father to you. You will be my sons. You will be my daughters. Okay, that's the call of God. Because he's the heavenly father. Amen. And he's calling his sons and daughters out of the world system, out of the, the life uh, of sin, out of the life of flesh. This pleases the flesh. You know, the, the music, yeah you, can, yeah, you can have a good time. But you know what? This pleasures of sin only lasts for a season. You know what I mean? Amen. Eternity's forever. Amen. You're going to live forever somewhere. Amen. Either forever burning in hell. You see all that fire going on there, all the fireworks, all the all the pyrotechnics and all that stuff going on, man. Yeah, man, it's 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 it's, it's like it's like it's deceitful, man. It's, it makes you like it attracts you, it's like a moth to a flame. You know what I mean? Like like bugs to a zap light, like a mosquitoes going to a zap. You know what I mean? They want to get to that light. They want to. Get, but you know, but we don't realize. You know, it might look good, it might feel good, it might taste good. Might even, uh, you know, might even make you rich. Might even make you famous, you know what I mean? But you know what? What will, what will you profit if you gain the whole world and lose a soul? You know what I mean? Or what will a man give in exchange for his soul? It ain't worth it. It ain't worth it, you know? So that's why we're out here today because we, you know, 20 years ago, 20 years ago in this same property, this was Buckeye Lake Music Center, okay? I threw the first rave on this property 20 years ago. I was the promoter. And um, so uh, in 2010, God called me out of this industry. God called me out of, of uh, I went from the electronic music industry into the, into the, into the gospel music industry. And around 2004, five, and it's a lot of this, a lot of the same thing in the in the gospel industry because most of those are just hypocrites, people that say, Lord, Lord, don't do what He says. See, God doesn't want a person with a divided heart. God doesn't want you to just go to church on Wednesday and Sunday and say you've done Him like a favor. No, God wants you undivided. God, He's a jealous God. He says He's a consuming fire. God wants to burn everything out of your life spiritually. It's not of Him. He wants He wants your mornings. He wants your afternoons. Noon. He wants your evening. He wants your Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 365 days a year. God wants your life. He wants your undivided attention. He wants your undivided loyalty. And if he don't have that, then he don't have nothing in your life. He don't want your 99.9%. .9%. He wants all of you. And that's why he's here getting your attention tonight. Because we are nothing. But you know what? God lives in us. You know what? We're living signs of, from God. This is a, this, we are signs from God tonight with those that have ears to hear and eyes to see. Yes, sir. But you have to want to change. Yes, you have to want it. Yes, because if you don't want it, you're going to be sucked into the world. And you what? You might have your best life now. You might have the best looking women. Listen, 20 years ago when I was still in the raves here, I had my bisexual girlfriend, all her girlfriends. I had all, all that wickedness going on. I did ecstasy every day I wanted to do it. I did coke every day I wanted to do it. I had Adderall every day I wanted to do it. Every, all the drugs, all the alcohol, all the sex, after parties, all the DJs. I mean, all that was going on in my house in Cincinnati. But you know what? God loved me so much that he let me go nearly bankrupt. He, by, my, by my bad choices, he took the Lexus, he took the motorcycle, he took the car, he took the girlfriends, he took the friends. Uh, look at my body, it's all scarred up. It's all scarred up, you know why? Because I'm drinking, drinking, drugging, driving my motorcycle, crashing head on into a Mercury Mountaineer SUV with no helmet on at 100 plus miles an hour. So God will strip you of everything in your life that's more important to you than him. So your money, your identity, what's your identity? Is your identity, oh, I'm a lawyer, oh, I'm a doctor, oh, I'm a DJ, oh, I'm a, I'm a this, I'm a that. No, I'm a son of God now, okay? That's what, that's what, I, that's what we, we have to identify as everything I am is because of him. Everything I am is to glorify Him. And that's why it's so wicked here. I know it's fun, man, but I'm telling you, it does not glorify God. This music don't glorify God. This, mu this music glorifies the DJ. This music glorifies the experience. It's a spiritual experience here, man. You know that. It's a spiritual experience. But not every spirit, uh, not every spirit is of God. You got to test the spirits. And this, oh man, it's so it's, this, 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 this ground is cursed. This whole land, I know the owner, his name's Steve Trickle. He came out here and talked to me last night because, like I said, I used to 
be the promoter here. You know what I mean? Steve Trickle owns this land. It's like over 300 acres. He owns this land. This is an ancient. This is an ancient burial ground for. This is an Indian ancient burial ground. Look it up on Google. There's there's mounds all over here. We got the Circle Mound. We got an Earth Mound. This is we are on Native American burial grounds right now. So this is a portal to hell, man. This is a portal to hell. Last night, a man named Joseph, a young black man named Joseph. Came running out of there, came up to us. He said, "Get me out of here, man!" I said, he saw the devil. He saw flames. And he, he saw hell last night. So we got, we helped him get a taxi and get him out of here as we were leaving at midnight last night. People. And he, he wasn't right with God, but he was like being drawn, like you're being drawn. He was a little bit, he was, I think he wasn't quite, I think as far as you seeing, you're more self-controlled and you got a little bit more bearing. I think he might have been on something a little bit, but he was still knew what he was talking about. But he was seeing stuff maybe like you were seeing in there last night. But, but my, I see some crazy shit here today, man. It was like... I, I was, one second I was partying with my friends and I was looking around and then I kept seeing the same fucking people surround me and I, it had to be like an evil spirit or some shit. Yeah, yeah. Man, it was some wicked shit, man. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Some wicked shit, man. Oh, yeah, they want to enter you, man. They want to enter you, consume you. So why? So you can destroy yourself. You see, Satan is trying to rush you to your death, okay? God's got a plan and purpose for your life. There's people in your family that aren't going to make it to heaven unless you get right with God. God because you are the key God can use you as a key to unlock the prison for the people that are in your life and other people that are going to be in your life okay so God can use you to win souls God can use you to be a leader in your family a leader in your neighborhood a leader in your community in this nation God wants to use you as a leader but right now he can't use you because right now you got a divided heart okay but there's still hope you're breathing you got time you know what I mean we're not guaranteed tomorrow but praise God that you're starting to see these things but what you got to do now is you got to humble yourself before the mighty hand of God and realize how small we are realize how small we are we not just you me we realize how small we are and how big he is so you got to draw near to God okay draw near to God and he'll draw near to you draw near to God well what you got to do what you got to do you wake up when you wake up in the morning what do you usually do check your phone uh, I thank God. You thank God. Okay, that's a good start. I wake up and right. thank God for waking me up. Wake up, wake up in the morning. Go ahead, go ahead. What else? Uh, like the first hour. The first hour. I'll, I'll wake up, thank God, brush my teeth. Yeah. Use the bathroom. Yeah, right, 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 right. Then you go about your day. Right, right. Check your check your phone and whatever. Eat some food or whatever. Okay. Well, what you got to do? Remember, like I said, God's a jealous God. Okay. So every morning, yeah, thank God. But what 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 do we? He's the king, right? Jesus is the king, okay? We, 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 like I said, we, you know, he holds life and death in the power of his hands. He can, he can snatch our breath out of our mouth and our lungs at any moment. Our heart can stop. We get an aneurysm, our brain can explode right now. You know what I mean? So we got to reverence him, reverence him. This is what the word says. It's Hebrews 12, 28 and 29. It says, wherefore we receiving a kingdom which cannot be moved, let us have grace whereby we may serve God acceptably in reverence, with reverence and godly fear. You got to reverence God. You got to reverence the king. You got to fear the king. So what do you do? Every knee will bow, right? We, we get down on our knees on the side of your bed, okay? Side of your bed on the rug or whatever. Get down. And you humble yourself before God. That's what I do. Get down. I read the Bible. I, I get down on my knees and pray alone, not in front of nobody else. I, mean, I go in my. I mean, yeah, not that I can, we can't pray for people, but I'm saying this is your private time. This is your time with your father. I didn't have a father that was close to me growing up. I don't know if you did or not. I didn't either. I didn't. My dad left when I was two. Okay. My dad. But that's beside the point. What I'm saying is, our heavenly father, he ain't like our dads were. Our heavenly father has a love for you that nobody else has like that. If you were the only one, if I was the only one, he loved you so much, he loved me so much, he would have sent his son Jesus to die just for you, just for me. That's how much he loves us. It's hard for us to understand that, having fathers that didn't love us that way, but our Heavenly Father loves you, and he don't. And he loves you so much that, 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 that he would never... He would never do anything to hurt you. You know, I mean, everything he does is for your good. That's what I'm trying to say. So what do you got to do? You got to bow down to him. Spend, start with, start with five, 10, 15 minutes of that. You know what I mean? I, I, I do it about 30 minutes in the morning and I read my Bible for about 30 minutes. So start, maybe you need to start with 20 or 30 minutes, 15 minutes even. You know what I mean? Start with, start and then work it out. You, 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 you muscular type guy, you probably work out some, you know what I mean? That's good.
So you got well, you got to do your sets, do your arms, do your legs, whatever. I gotta do the same well, with you got you got to do it with the Bible. You know what I mean? If you need to start with uh, 10, 15 minutes of, of prayer in the morning and 10, 15 minutes of Bible, do that, and then work your way up. Work your way up. A good a good place to be. Where I'm at, where I'm at right now, where the Lord has me right now, I'm, I'm at an hour in the morning. I spend about, I do read about four chapters in the morning, and I, I pray for about, I try to pray at least 30 minutes. Sometimes if I'm rushed on time, I might go 20. Sometimes I might go 45. Because you'll start praying, and the Lord will just take you places. Think of all the people in your life you, can, you need to be praying for, you know what I mean? Go through all the people in your life. Uh, whatever you're battling right now, uh, if it's financial issues, uh, if it's addiction, uh, if it's pornography, if it's masturbation, all these things, all these things that you feel bad about that God's convicting you the Holy Spirit convicts you and you know like man I gotta clean this up you know I gotta get this right I gotta I gotta work on this I gotta work on that you pray about those things you take everything to God in prayer everything he says ask he says this is the key this is the formula ask seek knock ask seek you've heard that before ask seek knock if, if any man asks he'll receive if any man seeks he'll find if any man knocks the door will be open unto him that's what he wants. Amen. He wants the relationship. It's, it, it, it's, it's like a beautiful marriage, okay? Right now, you're married to the world because of your because of your lifestyle. Not to say that you're this bad, evil person, but really we are when we're not born again. You know what I mean? Because we're criminals. We've all lied. We've all stole before. Some, even if it's something small, we, we've all we've all done bad things. We've all sinned against God. Okay? So right now, you, you've got you've got all this weighing you down. You know what I mean? So you got to make a clean cut. You got to sever yourself. You got to forsake. This is what the Bible says in, in, in Proverbs 28, 13. It says if you conceal it, if you conceal or hide or or, or, or or try to hide your sin, it says you will not prosper. But if you confess and forsake, okay? Not only not only say I'm sorry, but forsake, which means I'm sorry, and I'm gonna show I'm sorry by turning away from that and not doing it anymore. So hey God, I'm sorry that I came into this concert. Okay, God, what am I gonna do am I, am I gonna go am I gonna go home am I gonna, I'm gonna stay stick around and because I spent this money you know what I mean you know what I mean that's what I'm saying that's your choice that's your choice and I can't do that for you and I don't I, you know I don't know what you're gonna Shoot. do but I'm just gonna say that's your choice man with everything not just the concert yeah. I'm just saying everything everything that you're caught up in right now every lie every lie you might be caught up every, every little thing that you're doing right now if you've got a girlfriend that you're fornicating with having sex with and you gotta man up say hey honey you know what I was wrong. I shouldn't have been doing this outside of marriage. We shouldn't have been doing this. You know what I mean? I have been treating you disrespectfully because my father said this. My father said the fornicators won't go to heaven. So what are we doing right now? We fornicate. I'm having sex with you outside of marriage. I'm disrespecting you. God's angry with me because I've been disrespecting you. And more importantly, I've been disrespecting him. So I fear God. I'm going to come out of sin. By the fear of God, men depart from iniquity, depart from sin. That's the whole duty of man, the Bible says, to fear God. He says, let us hear the conclusion. It's Ecclesiastes 12. He says, let us hear the conclusion of the matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. God says he's going to bring every work into judgment, including every secret thing, whether good or evil. So everything we do, even if nobody else knows, he knows. His eyes are everywhere. He knows our internet history. He knows all our contacts in our phone. He knows the phone calls. He sees the tears. He sees the depression. He sees the sadness. He sees the, 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 the you know, when we feel like crap, you know what I mean? He sees all that. You know, the good and the bad and the ugly, you know what I mean? So we got to take it to him, everything. But we, but we got to be humble, man. It's not humble to stay in your sin. It's not humble to keep doing the same thing over and over again and, and just living in that defeated, it's circular. It's like a circle cycle. It's like a cycle of defeated life. You know what I mean? Like, I know I'm doing wrong, but I just keep doing the same thing, keep doing the same thing over again. And that's what definition of insanity. Right. Insane. Exactly. That's right. And that's why, that's why God's saying, uh, except a man, Jesus himself in John 3 said, except a man be born again, he will not see the kingdom of God. You got to be born again. Old things are gone. All things become new. You want to go to heaven, don't you? Yes, sir. Yeah. So this is what God says. He says, blessed is the man that, that doeth or does my commandments, that he may enter in and eat from the tree of life. It says that he may enter in through the gates of the city. Because it says outside of heaven are, are the dogs, 
are the uh, sorcerers, are the whoremongers. You know what a whoremonger is? One that's chasing after whores. Yeah. One that's having premarital sex. Okay? Whoremongers, fornicators, murderers, adulterers, and all those that love and make a lie. The biggest lie that church, the biggest lie that this Christian, Christianity, which is mostly hypocrisy now, the biggest lie that they're telling us is that we can be a Christian and live in sin. That's the biggest lie. That's the biggest lie of the devil. Remember, Satan had told that lie from the beginning. Oh, you can eat of the fruit. You won't surely die. He's saying the same thing to the people in most of these churches today. Oh, you can live in sin. Nobody's perfect. You can live in sin. Oh, everyone. If you don't sin, Jesus died for nothing. That's a lie, man. That's a lie. No. If any man's in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things passed away. So we, we got to cease from sin. Uh, one verse that changed my life. Uh, so 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 1 and 2. It says, For as much then as Christ has suffered for us in the flesh, he says, Arm yourself likewise with the same mind. For he that has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin, that he no longer should live the rest of this life in the flesh to the lust of men, but to the will of God. So how do you do that? You gotta you gotta have the mind of Christ. And the only way you're gonna have the mind of Christ, my friend, is if you don't be conformed to this world, but you be transformed by the renewing of your mind so that you can prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Because when you're feeding your mind and feeding your life with all this outside garbage that God doesn't want in you it's like it's like uh, it's like it's like eating McDonald's every day spiritually you know what I mean it's like you're just gonna be unhealthy you're not gonna be able to you're gonna be tired uh, you're gonna be, have to, you're not gonna be able to make good choices you're gonna feel like, but way worse because it's spiritually you know what I mean so you're taking all that in those demons you saw that were surrounding you like that they want to enter into you man they want to enter into you man and then once that happens then you end up doing like what I did that's what happened to me. Demons were all in me, man. And then you end up getting in a horrible motor. Then you end up getting in horrible accidents. Then you end up nearly killing. You might kill yourself. You know, you, you're not going to do that, though. But I'm just saying you could. I'm just saying. Those demons, you know what I mean? Demons. Demons. That's why you got to flee. Run. Run. Get out of the city like Lot. Don't look back. Bro, it scared the shit out of me because I had a moment in there where, like, I felt like just everybody was just, like, staring at me. Like... I mean, everybody was fucking just, I mean, it was not, I'm not talking about like some people, fucking everybody, fucking everybody was right. looking at me. Right, 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 because you, because you, like I, you, listen, God doesn't want any of these people to go to hell, okay? God doesn't want any of them, but some of them are, are, are way more asleep than others, okay? Like I say, you're, you're not there yet, but you're, but, but the Lord is awakening you out of your sleep, okay? He, God says, awaken to righteousness and sin not. And he said, I speak this to your shame. For some of you have not the knowledge of the truth. Many of the people here, they're way farther away from where you're at right now, okay? You're receiving this truth. You're receiving this good seed. You're receiving this light. You're receiving this living water, okay? It's trying to refresh you. It's trying to revive you. You know what I mean? It's trying to wake you up, okay? It's like, wake up, O oh sleeper, and rise. And Christ will rise on, will shine on you, okay? So Christ is shining. Christ is trying to wake you up. And these people that are under the, uh, under, the, they're, they're under this uh, seducing spirit. They, they can see it. They can see it. So They can see it on you. They can see it on you. When I was walking out, uh, when, I, when I was walking out, I heard a rattlesnake. I heard a fucking rattlesnake. Right, right. Like the, the like the. Right, 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 right. And and it, it, and, it, and it came closer. And like when I looked back, it was like then, then the sound would travel like it wanted me to fucking like you know follow the fucking sound. Right, right. There's something evil in oh, it. Oh yeah, seducing spirits, man. Seducing spirits. This is all a trap. This is a snare. It's like a it's like a Venus flytrap or something that's just like waiting for people to come in and like swallow your life, man. Remember the devil, you've heard it before. The devil came to steal, kill, and destroy, but Jesus came to give you life and life more abundantly. Okay? Why do you think that we some of these guys, that guy drove five hours to be here? We're nothing, but I'm just saying some of us, everybody here drove at least two hours or more to be here. Why? Because God sent us here, man. I mean, we all have other things we could be doing, but we're children of God. We do his will above our own. It's, right. not, it's not about me. You know what I mean? It's about him. So we are here particularly for particular people. Not to try to get you to come join some building with me. For you to find your purpose, man. For you to get connected with the source of life. Jesus Christ, man. He is the source of life. He's the way, the truth, the life. But you can't get to the Father unless you go through him. 
But without repentance, there's no mercy. Without a repentance, without change, you gotta have a change of heart, change of mind. Okay, it's gotta change. Okay, you got to, and it starts with you getting on your knees, crying out to God. Okay, I'm not saying right now. I'm just saying, you know, every day, every day. Not like I got a flu shot. Not like I got my COVID shot. No, it ain't that. No, it ain't. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't nothing like that, man. the manifestations of the demons Jesus said let me fix this comb yeah. right, thank you. Jesus said in John chapter 3 this is the condemnation that light has come into the world but men love darkness rather than light because their deeds are evil they don't want to come into the light because if they come into the light everything will be shown it's exposed it shines so when you shine the light on this darkness here some people that have the, the, the those those seer those people that were they're looking at you and they saw that there was some light on you those, those they're, they're the ones that are manifesting and they're all over the place man it ain't like there's a few here the majority the majority are here the majority the majority I swear it was like fucking everybody. The majority. I, every time I looked, somebody just kind of like staring at me, acting like they wasn't staring at me. It right. Was fucking weird. Right. Right. It right. Got really right. fucking weird. Right. You got a target on you, man. You got a target. And, and uh, see, there's people on assignment here to destroy you. Just like we're on assignment here to try and pull you out of the fire. There's devils here in people that are on assignment to make you fall. To make you fall. So I'm just letting you know, man. I don't, I don't even know what to do. I mean, what are you doing here, man? Well, how did you get here? What are you? Are you, are got, you camping here or what? Yeah, I camp here and I got my. And I came with people. Like they drove here, so it's kind of like I'm. How far? Where, where are you from? New York. Wow. When's your flight home? I'm actually driving on Monday. Wow. Yeah. yeah. What 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 uh what airport are you by? Uh, LaGuardia, I think. Are you high right now? A little bit. Yeah. What on what? Molly. Molly, okay. That's I guess yeah, that's ecstasy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well I, I used to do that all the time, so I know that you're more sensible and you, you know what you're saying. You know, it's not like that you don't it's not like you don't know what you're saying, yeah. So man, well, man, uh Thank you, man. I yeah, really, I mean, can you pray with me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can pray with you, and I'd be willing. You know, I know that this might not be something that you want to do. It would take a whole leap of faith, but I mean, if you if you wanted to, you know, I would help you get home. I mean, you know, I would, I would like buy you if you really wanted to leave. You know what I mean? I would help you. I would help you. With that, you know what I mean? I wouldn't drive you, but I'd help you get a plane ticket. You know, and I would take out. You know what I mean? So I'm just saying, I don't know what. Before we pray, I'm gonna pray with you. But Laguardia, you're by Laguardia. What is that? LGY? Uh, the airport yeah. code. The airport code. Yeah. Is it? I think it's LGY, Lagor. I'm not yeah. sure. Is it LGY? Let me see here. Let me look it up, Southwest. Yeah, I would be willing to invest that into your life, man. Shit, sir. I don't even have the money to. I don't even have the money to get a flight. No, I'm just saying I would be willing to get the flight. I really? Yeah. I mean, as long as it ain't like a thousand bucks, I'll look yes, it up. Sir. I'll look it up. Yes, sir. Not that you ain't worth a thousand bucks. I'm just saying. I mean, that's a lot. I don't think it's a thousand bucks. One way, one way. Yeah. But let me. Uh, let me. I'm on my Southwest app. Let me look what it is on Southwest. I'll show you homosexuality. Pervert, man. Pervert. LaGuardia, uh, LGA, LGA. So one way. Um, Monday. My phone's not going very fast for some reason here. It's so crazy that I seen you guys right here because I was. Let me try because Google. Keep going. I'm keep you keep talking to me. I, I, I was I was literally going through like I, I 
almost like a crisis in there because I felt like I, I just, I felt, I've seen these spirits, man, and it was just, they surrounded me and they was trying to like, I don't know, I felt like an energy like trying to press on me or like almost trying to, like to, like to brainwash me or something. It was fucking weird, man. Crazy. It was weird. Is your phone working? Yes, sir. Is it working? Can you look it up? Because I don't know why. I've got I've got five bars, man. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's can, because can, can you can you Google um, or whatever whatever Safari whatever? Um, can you just put C? Okay, put 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 um, CVG or CVG two CVG two LGA one and then space. T O space L G A. Okay. You're getting old, man. You're getting old. Okay. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Okay, hold on. So let me see what. Let me see the dates here. Mine's working. Hold on. Mine's working here. Fucking funny though. I don't even. I don't even know how we even get to the airport. Like I said, I mean, I, no, no. If I'm gonna help you, I'm gonna help you. I'm a. I'm an assistant. I'm an assistant to the pastor at my church. I'm an evangelist. You know, I mean, I'm. This is what I do. You know, what I mean, we help people. This is kind of different. I never really done. I've done some stuff, but I mean, you know, help people with a lot of different things. You know, people that are. You know, been sexually abused. You know, just this is kind of a different situation. Right, right. But I believe it's of the Lord. Okay, so what is the the date here? That would be Monday, Monday, Monday the twenty sixth. Mm -hmm. And yet you let drag queens, you let them, the children sit on drag queens' lap. How wicked! It'll come. It'll come. Just take a minute. They're trying to take your children. They have eyes on your children. The homosexuals have eyes on your children. You need to stop this. You need to stop letting your children be around them. In the name of Jesus, come on. That wicked spirit is going to come on your children. But no, you live, you live a life of sin. You live, you live a life of debauchery. You live a life that you're a fornication. You live a life of drunkenness. You have all those spirits. Those spirits are all over you. What do you think they're going to be on? Your children. Yeah, it's because the bars. It's too, too many people on like one tower. Is that what it is? Yeah, there's too many people in one tower, so it's, called, it's causing the interference. I got five bars, man. Come out from amongst them and be ye separate, saith the Lord. Come out from amongst this wickedness. Come out from amongst this. Be Listen, I don't care. I don't care if it's four or five hundred bucks. I'll pay for it. So, but you gotta. Can I get your number? Yeah. Because I, I don't. Yeah. Hey, get out of here, Sam. Like you What's your know name? your own word. It's uh. Hey, read it. Read the book. Read it. Read it. Read it. You're a demon. You're a demon. Now you know the devil don't want you to do this. I know. I know. You're gonna have all kinds of doubts. I know. You know, you'd have to have faith to do this. I know. I am. I am. Yeah. You'd have to have faith to do this. I'm not saying that you have to do this. I'm just saying that this is the way out. There's. There's. This is a way for you to go home. Like I said, I'm willing. I know it's not more than five hundred dollars. It's one way. Even last minute, it's not gonna be more than five hundred dollars. It'd probably be three or four hundred. I'll pay that. No problem. It's worth that. You. You. You worked out to me to change your life. Yes, sir. Because this will change your life. Yes, sir. Because somebody loved you enough to do this. Yes, sir. He loved you enough to do this. Amen. Amen. It's him. Amen. So um, Amen. I'm gonna put my number in here. You don't know the Bible. You don't read the Bible. Now we're gonna be on this corner. Okay. So just because you got my number, um, I'm gonna call it. Um, we're probably gonna be on this corner for at least a couple more hours. At, at, at the latest midnight. You know what I mean? But, but maybe, maybe. At the, it, it could be. I don't even know. Let me see. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's not, it's not even. Yeah, it's ringing. Oh, nice. There you go. Okay. There you go. Okay. What's your name, sir? John Williams. Joe. 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 Yes, sir. Man, Joe. Yes, sir. Man, man, man. So, Joe, you gotta. All right. So, what should I do? What, what, well, this is what this is what. If I were you, I would do. 
Um, now, I, I'm a veteran, or I'm a U.S. Air Force veteran. The guy over there is a Navy veteran, okay? So we're the leaders of this group here, okay? It's a military operation for the Lord. It's an operation, you know what I mean? To come in and it's like Navy SEALs go behind enemy lines to save people out of the enemy's camp, you know? Right now, you've made it out of the enemy's camp, but you got to go back behind. you got to go back into the enemy's camp. And when you do that, there's going to be a lot of snares and traps and nets that they're trying to weave around me. <laughs> so when you go back in there to get your stuff, you're going to have to, you're going to come in across people that are going to try to bring you back in. You know what I mean? And you got to make a choice whether or not you want to go ahead and go back and embrace that or that if you're going to make up your mind that, hey, I got to get out of here. You know what I mean? So I just letting you know when you go back in there, those snakes are still in there. You know what I mean? Those seducing women are still in there. Those friends that say, oh, come on, you know, whatever. They're going to be in there. You're going to have to face that, okay? So you gotta you gotta count the cost, you know. So you know it's not a popular decision. You know what I mean, people are gonna think you're stupid for doing this. People are gonna think that you know you're weak. People are gonna think that you know you're making the wrong decision. But you gotta make up your mind to have faith. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. You know what I mean? So you gotta make your faith. I'm I'm, I'm done. I'm repenting. You're if you repent, that means you change your mind. Change you have a heart change. So that means I have changed my mind about being a part of this. I don't want this in my life anymore. I wanna be I wanna be a new man. I'm gonna turn over a new leaf. I'm going to change. I'm going to go and sin no more. Remember the woman that was caught in adultery in the Bible? Remember the woman? That was, uh, have you ever heard the story, uh, he without sin cast the first stone? Remember that? Well, that woman was caught in the very act of sex with somebody, not her husband. And the religious people brought her before Jesus. And they said, Rabbi, you know, what, what do we do with this woman? She was caught in the very act of adultery. And Jesus was writing on the sand. He got down. He was writing on the sand. And then he got up. He said, you without sin cast the first stone. Then the oldest to the youngest they walked away because they all had sin said you without sin among those without sin among you cast the first sin so the woman was there with just Jesus and she didn't she said she, she, the, Jesus said woman where are thine accusers does not condemn you and what, what did he said he said she said none Lord does not, he said does not condemn you she said none Lord and he said neither do I condemn thee go and sin no more so you've been caught in your sin tonight okay God your sin found you out you've realized that hey I came to the wrong place. I'm doing. The, I'm living the wrong lifestyle. I'm living the wrong way. I shouldn't be here. So right now, right now, you're at that point where Jesus is like, "You gotta make a decision. Go and sin no more." So, so um, what I would do if I were you, my advice, my, my my advice, if I were you, and believe me, I was in your position before. Nobody ever stood outside of the gate to, to get me out of here. And I brought, I, but anyways, the point is, you got to get your stuff and and then come back out here. That's that's what you got to do. Gather up your things. Okay. Leave a note. If, you, if they're not there, you can leave a note for your people. Just because it's a loving thing to do. Say, hey, um, you can be brief about it. You don't have to pour out your whole heart. I mean, whatever you want to say. You know what I mean? Whether it's short or long or whatever. Just say, hey, uh, you know, I, I, you know, I got. I, Say whatever you, Lord, see. Now, remember, God said, if you're ashamed of me before men, I'll be ashamed of before you. So it would be a powerful testimony if you gave a short testimony like, hey, uh, I saw things tonight that are, are against my belief in God. Uh, you know, the Lord, the Lord is leading me uh, to leave here. Uh, the Lord sent somebody uh, to help me get away home, and you know what? Um, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow, I'm gonna follow the Lord. I'm, I'm gonna get out of it. You know, I mean, you give a little testimony of the Lord, and, and just, you know, so that's what I would do. That's what I would do. You know what I mean? Because you don't wanna, you know, what I mean, you don't wanna be ashamed of, of what you're doing. You wanna be, this, you're doing the right thing. They should be ashamed of what they're doing. You know what I mean? You're not. You shouldn't be. We shouldn't be ashamed of what's right. We should be ashamed of what's wrong. You know what I mean? But, but so, so, so yeah. So basically, I. If you're gonna do this, I would be back out here by 11, because we're gonna leave sometime between 11 and 12. Okay. So if you're gonna do it, okay. I'll buy the ticket. I don't care. Okay. okay. And I live, I live two hours from here. I live closer to Dayton. Okay. You know what I mean? So you need to come to church with me tomorrow. Okay. And uh, meet my pastor. Okay. And then, uh, and then we'll buy the ticket tonight or in the morning. Okay. But I'll get you a ticket either way. If I have to drive you back, I'll drive you back. I'll okay. But I'm gonna get you there. Okay. You know what I mean? I'm gonna come. I'm gonna go get my stuff. Okay. I'll right, come on back out. All right, Joe. Man, be praying. Hey, guys. Be praying for Job, Joseph right now. Be praying for Joseph. He just went in. The guy I've been talking to over there. He's going to get his stuff. And he's repenting. And he's he's going home. He's going home. He's coming back with me tonight. Uh, I'm, 
he, he drove here from New York with friends. We're getting a flight for him to fly home on Monday. He's coming to church with me tomorrow, and uh, he's repenting. He's, he's, he's going and said no more. Wow. So be praying that he doesn't. He's going to face a lot of. He's going to face a lot of temptation when he goes in there. I, he's already. He saw the. He saw all kinds. I mean, he like yeah. So anyways. Was that the same guy from last night? No, different Joseph. Great God. Yeah. So be praying for Joseph right now. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen.